Hey everyone. So for the past couple of years I've been going to college at Ohio State and next semester I'm planning on starting flight training at the University Airport. Uh, they have a fleet of Cessna 172's there so I thought it would be really cool to make a model of the Cessna 172 with the same paint scheme and everything. I've always wanted to build a Cessna anyways uh, ever since I took my very first flight in a 172 a few years ago. So I built this model in Fusion 360 I took a three view drawing of the plane that I just found online and I used that to to basically design it and match up all, all the dimensions so it lines up very well in all three dimensions almost exactly the same but I simplified some of the curves uh, and the design uh, basically all the dimensions are even to the quarter inch so it's designed in inches so I, I designed everything to be either like on the inch or a quarter inch half inch seven or uh, three quarter inches just because that's the easiest for me to build. I also simplified the curves like of the fuselage and just made everything straight lines with the exception of the nose here which has got to be a curve otherwise it just won't look right and then the rear window is also going to be curved. Uh, obviously the wing is going to have an airfoil shape but I didn't go through the trouble of making that in this model. So the plane's going to be built in three sections just like uh, I've built my other two planes so far like this. Uh, there's going to be the middle piece here the nose and then the tail and then they're all going to be glued together. The wingspan is going to be 56 inches and the fuselage length is going to be about 37 and 3 quarters inches long. That's from the nose to the rear of the vertical stabilizer. So I use this 3D model to make uh, 2D drawings which are going to be the actual plans that I'll use to build the plane. So here's the PDFs of those. So I have a top view, I have a side view, and then I have a blown up view of the stabilizer, so the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer. And I'll post links to these uh, in the description if you're interested in looking at them. And here's what the real plane is going to look like. Uh, it's basically just white and with uh, red and gray stripes on it. These curves could be kind of hard to paint on, so I'm thinking right now that I'm going to design them and 3D print them out, like as templates, and then just use the templates to trace on the curves. I've also designed the airfoils in Fusion 360. I just took a standard Clark Y 2412 airfoil um, template from Google and uh, put it into Fusion 360. And then I designed the 3D model of it. I'm going to 3D print these out and use them uh, for my hot wire cutter to cut out the wing shapes. So I've got this one is the uh, larger one, which is a uh, eight eight and three quarters inch airfoil cord. And then the smaller one is five and three quarters inches. I added these extensions to the airfoils on the rear and on the front. That's because when I cut out the wings, I need to have a little bit of extra material in the front and back to stick out of the wing. Otherwise, it'll get messed up. So yeah, this is going to be my next project. I hope you're excited about it because I definitely am. Could take a while to build though because I'm not going to be able to dedicate as much time since I'm going to school now. But I'm planning on getting started on it as soon as possible. If you enjoy this, please leave a like. And be sure to subscribe so you can get notified when I upload more videos about this plane. I'm planning on uploading videos on the progress of it every time I do like a major update. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.